Check this. So today I made a tutorial video with three parts to it and I'm just going to talk over it. Cool. So the first thing you want to do is make your rectangle where your text is going to be. Then you want to give it a little bit of transparency. And we want to give it a wipe. I used a door wipe. You want to make sure that the wipe, the wipe settings are directly true. Type door mold horizontal out. Right here, I'm just adjusting it to how I want it to come out the next thing you want to do is make two small rectangles that are going to be on the outsides of the first big rectangle you're going to give them transparency as well and then you want to give them a wipe but you want to make sure that the wipe settings are directly true wipe type is door horizontal out mode horizontal out then you want to make sure that the two rectangles two rectangles come out first before the big rectangle you want the small rectangles to use the wipe and then they move you add a movement to them and they're going to move away from each other left and right the left one goes to the left the right one goes to the right and you want to make sure that the movements the first movement the first point will be zero so the movement speed will be zero and the second path point movement speed will be a hundred percent so it has that smooth looking smooth feeling like it has like after effects then you want to adjust the speed to make sure that the rectangles move to their destination around the same time that the first the first big rectangle uses his wipe to come out Adjusting the transition levels using the curve type is only given to you in VSDC Video Editor, not the free one. By the way.
all of this is pretty much me just adjusting the time of the rectangle the small rectangles movements to the time of the big rectangles finish wipe transition so it all looks smooth now I'm adding a second rectangle right under it and I want to put some lines around it as if it's going to summon it using the lines and you're going to do the same thing as you did with the small two small rectangles with the lines and their movement will start and path be zero speed and uh, end path will be 100% speed I made five different lines and each time one line hit the end path I mean, end point of its movement I gave it a wipe transition to make it move out smoothly and that's going to be a false wipe setting with the wipe with the wipe type as side and depending on where it ends it will be either right to left or left to right And then eventually I want to give the lines uh, some motion blur to make them look like they're moving. The motion blur will only be effect. Um, it will only be in effect while the object is moving. To make it look more smooth. Once that's done, you want to give the small rectangle a transition. I just gave it a fade in transition after the lines go around it. So it looks as if the lines summit the rectangle. Then I want to eventually after the the rectangle comes in, I want to reverse it and that'll come up later.
No. You reverse it by making it a video, exporting it, and then you cut off the part where it was coming out to show the text, and then you copy it. You undo so it was never cut and then you paste and put that beginning clip on the back of it of the on the back of the video And then you just reverse it and paste and export. Now you want to put the text on it after you've got the raw footage of the lower third. You want to make sure that the text has wipe setting directly true type door mode horizontal out just like the big rectangle and make sure that it has the same speed as the big rectangle so it looks as if it's coming out with the rectangle Now, for the second small rectangle, you just want to you just want to make sure that the text in the small rectangle fades in when the rectangle fades in. And then to reverse it, you do the same thing you did to the raw video by cutting the front half, copying it, undo, then paste to the back of the video, reverse it, and then export the project. I hope you learned something. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, share, and comment. Once again, thanks for watching. Peace.